Hello everyone, in this video we'll be taking a look at some of the many lost media of Visual K. These are 6 cases that I found most interesting while researching this topic. They are related to the bands Malice Miser, Durang Grey and Desert. For those of you who don't know what the concept of lost media is, according to the r slash lost media subreddit, it is an umbrella term with many different ways to define it, but it is typically agreed to be, quote, media which is lost to the general public, that this media was intended to be viewable or at some point was viewable to the public but no longer is. Lost media can be basically anything, songs, films, books, anything. Without further ado, thank you to Haitani for supporting me on Patreon and let's get into the video. This one might be a bit surprising as you can just look up Malice Miser Gardenia on YouTube and you'll find the promotional video for it on Cantavanda's channel, but it's actually not the original video. Cantavanda's video is actually a combination of a shortened version of the PV with a TV commercial and footage that was spliced into a live performance of the song. The PV was supposed to be released on VHS on May 30th, 2001 under a title Gardenia del Image. I can't pronounce French words, but the release did not happen. For an unknown reason it was cancelled. The most probable explanation for it is that the video files were somehow lost. Maybe the only device that they were on broke or its hard drive got corrupted or the files itself somehow got corrupted. Maybe it was accidentally deleted. We can only speculate as the band never gave us an official reason. The only actual footage of it that remains is a short, poor quality version recorded from a TV interview with a show Music Chat that cuts to the ending after the first chorus and the version used in the commercial for the single that, despite being great quality, is only 16 seconds long. Maris Miser It appears that Malice Miser recreated at least some scenes from the PV as the footage spliced into the live version is way different than the TV one. No matter what happened to the files, it is highly unlikely that we'll ever be able to watch the original PV for Gardenia. In November 2013, a few heavy metal news sites reported that the band Five Finger Death Punch had recorded collaborations with some other artists, including Kyo of Duran Grey, and is planning to release them soon. Guitarist Zoltan Batori was quoted saying, Many have not fully understood the bonus tracks of Volume 1. It was a gift to our fans. The last two albums contains the best music we've written so far and we did not want the attention to be shifted to the guests, so we thought we would not repeat the experience. No one knows we recorded some tracks with Rob Zombie, Ryan Clark of Demon Hunter and Kyo of Duran Grey, a crazy artist who sang in Japanese on a crazy track. All of this will be part of soundtracks, video games and more. It will be something special that we will give you in the future. A track titled I Am Sin featuring Kyo of Duran Grey was apparently supposed to be released as a bonus track on the Japanese edition of Five Finger Death Punches, The Wrong Side of Heaven and The Righteous Side of Hell Volume 2. 
But in the end, the Japanese bonus track was Burn MF featuring Rob Zombie. I wasn't able to find any sites that would at one point or another pause the Kyo song, I just found people looking for it. And I can't even find proof that it was ever released. You can find lyrics to it, but they were taken from a different version of the song, a standard one with the Five Finger Death Punch vocalist and also a different version which instead of Kyo features Max Cavalera. How do I know that the Kyo version had different lyrics? Well, it was initially reported that Kyo sang the song in Japanese. I guess I can't say much more about this one, there's little to no information about the song. And I have a kind of an off feeling about this, I mean, when I listen to the song, I am saying it doesn't really sound like something that Kyo's voice would fit in. Manasama of the bands Malice Miser and Mwadi Mwa, a big fan of the Castlevania games, wrote a MIDI ringtone for mobile phones named La Nuit Blanche to promote the video game Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance, released in 2002. The ringtone was available for people to download from the Tsutaya online store and was never released outside of Japan. It seems like the ringtone was already lost all the way back in 2004 and 2005. When asked about if he has a saved copy of the ringtone, Mana responded, Since I made it on a super old flip phone, I don't have the audio data. If anyone has it and can record it, I want to hear it. So, since even Mana doesn't have it, it's unlikely that Lanoid Blanche will be ever found unless someone stumbles upon a very old Japanese phone that will have the ringtone downloaded. This is a bit of a different entry as it's not about something made by a Visual K band but something, I guess, connected to it. I already mentioned it in my Duran Grey Iceberg video but I didn't go too deeply into it. Anyway, YouTuber Wang in his video about the Hulk song attributed to Duran Grey titled Sea of Ours, I'm not saying its full name, reads an email he received from someone who claimed to have created the song. According to the guy, he and his friends made at least two goofy songs to troll a Duran Grey fan at ICQ. The second song was Sea of Ours, but the first one, titled Secret Song, is lost. It supposedly started very quiet so that the guy they were trolling had to turn up the volume and then turned into a very loud mashup of circus music, Hitler speeches and air raid sirens. Basically a screamer in a form of a song. Sea of Ours was spread around old file sharing services, so if the story is true, there is a possibility that Secret Song is floating somewhere in the depths of the internet waiting to be found. At the Desert Sora Birthday One Man Life at Saitama Heaven's Rock on June 24th, 2015, it was announced that in autumn 2015 the band Desert will release a live DVD titled Auto no Susume 2. It was recorded during their live show at Tsutaya O East on April 25th, 2015. However, eventually the release was scrapped. It's theorized that the reason for this was the fact that in July 2015 it was announced that guitarist Kira is leaving the band and the other members didn't want him to appear on the DVD. The trailer for it was available on the band's YouTube channel but it was taken down.
On February 19, 2023, a Brazilian user Lucy Loves Brock posted on the Lost Media Wiki forums asking about the Lost Malice Miser music video she remembered watching around 2004. According to her, she had a friend who was a fan of Malice Miser and one day she showed her several videos of the band that she had downloaded off the internet and burned it on DVDs. Among the videos, there was what seemed to be an official music video for the song Suni Kiss from the Mervelle album. The reason why Lucy thinks it was an official video is because, quote, it looked like something done professionally, inside a studio, indoors, and the band members looked really good. The video started with Gekt, the vocalist, removing a mask from his face with a dramatic movement. She has been searching for the video ever since and claims she's certain it was not the 1998 live recording, but it's very similar to it. It's also possible that it wasn't a music video, but rather a quote, piece of a performance that the band did on a TV show, or maybe a recorded trial or test or rehearsal or something close to that. Lucy later gave us more details. The image looked very steady, the cameras were fixed to the floor in the major part of the time. The mask that Gek had was the same one he has in the live video and he removes it standing with his side to the camera. The video was short, so possibly an edited version, and the video had bright colors with the outfits looking bold and vivid. Okay, so I think this might come off harsh, but I don't believe this video exists. I'm obviously not saying Lucy is lying, but I think she might be mis simply misremembering the video her friend showed her. It may have been the live recording, or since Lucy said it was downloaded off the internet, a fan-made music video. I guess it being a TV special is still possible, but it's still weird to me that there will be no info about it, considering that was the time Malice Miser were at the height of their popularity. If any of you have an idea for what video Lucy might have seen, please comment down below. Also, since we talk about the live show Marvel Les Pass, or however it's pronounced, there is a good portion of it that was never released. The only footage of it that I could find is the solo by Kozi Hermana that ends the song Tsuyoku to Kakera. But the way this song ends sounds a lot like the beginning riff of Shinobuto, which leads me to think that both of the songs were performed for the show. And that will be it for today. Just a short video on something that I found interesting. If you know of any similar cases of Visual K Lost Media, you can comment them down below and if there will be enough interesting cases, I might make a second video going over them. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Once again, thank you to Haitani for supporting me on Patreon and uh, yeah. Thank you for watching and goodbye.